Missouri is well equipped to be forward thinking in today's economy. Innovation centers scattered across the state keep Missouri poised for a burst of enthusiasm even as the nation and world's economy struggle. Springfield's Jordan Valley Innovation Center is a prime example. The center operates under a mission of product development for its corporate partners and provides interdisciplinary educational experiences for students. JVIC has collaborated with one company that is well positioned to take the development of their product to market. Springfield-based nanotechnology company U.S. Photonics uses ultra-fine lasers to create tiny micro-machines and nanomachines with potential applications in the biomedical and defense fields. U.S. Photonics is a nanotechnology uh, laser and optics company that uh, was started in 2005. Um, we have another company that uh, is called Ozark Laser Systems that uh, we wanted to diversify uh, into other technologies um, and that's where U.S. Photonics came from. Uh, and we started in the biomedical device industry uh, making artificial aortic heart valves, stents, and implantable devices. U.S. Photonics offers the most advanced technology in laser machining, providing many of the world's firsts in primary product design. The company's decision to use only the finest products and materials help ensure that the precision and quality of U.S. Photonics trademark systems and services are state-of-the-art. One of the biggest uh, most exciting applications of our technology that we have right now is the development of a uh, nano battery system. Uh, we anticipate uh, this battery to replace the current lithium ion rechargeable battery technology uh, and giving many orders of magnitude of, of charge capacity to a much smaller battery. Uh, we recently received a, an SBIR grant from the National Science Foundation uh, to do research on nanobatteries and uh, we should begin work uh, on that and receive funding sometime in January and hope to have our phase one completed by about June or July. Uh, the nanobattery project is uh, very important to the future of energy as well as uh, automobiles uh, and cell phones and laptop industries. Uh, we anticipate our battery being able to uh, allow or extend the runtime of a laptop from two to four hours, uh, potentially to several days. The company's most recent clients include members of the biomedical, defense, and semiconductor industries. Partnering with Missouri State University and working within Jordan Valley Innovation Center has been very beneficial to U.S. Photonics. The synergies of just having uh, additional scientists to pull resources from um, as well as the, uh, uh, the, the ability to share tools, resources, uh, capital equipment that we otherwise just wouldn't have access to is, is incredible. Had it not been for JVIC, um, you know, a company like ours may have had, um, we, we'd, it would have been very challenging to succeed in, an, in, an, in a scientific environment, in a high-tech environment here in Springfield without the Jordan Valley Innovation Center. Um, what this does for us, and I guess the key benefit, again, is the, is the capital equipment and the resources that we have here to further develop uh, products, ideas, conduct our research, um, and, and, and the laboratory equipment that is available to us here is just invaluable. If we did not have the ability to, for example, use the thin film laboratory, for example, to use the, uh, the Oxford laser downstairs, we just wouldn't have the resources to fund it ourselves, uh, being a small startup. Currently operating in a research and development capacity, U.S. Photonics plans to be a leading manufacturer within a few years. By combining optics, lasers, and nanotechnology, the company sees a bright future. Well, at the end of the day, we do want to be a manufacturer of uh, components, devices, and, and we would like to uh, uh, believe that we will have opportunities for an end product. Uh, hopefully that one will be in the, in the, the world of nanobatteries. Uh, we see that as a, a really bright future, not only for uh, the electronics industry, but uh, certainly for our military personnel as well to uh, reduce the... Uh, uh, the size of the battery, uh, additional capacity, and additional runtime for a variety of electronic devices. 